there was this meme that I seen on Facebook, right? And it said something like the your growth is directly connected to how much truth you can handle about yourself. So like most people can't handle the truth. You know that old they want the truth. Well, they can't handle the truth. It's kind of that's true. People want the truth, but they can't handle the truth. Like, people want growth, but they don't understand what it's going to take to actually grow. It's going to take you being able to look at you and seeing, well, what part of me needs to grow? What do I, like, you'll never know what you need to work on if you think you have nothing to work on, right? Like, if you think, oh, you're just perfect and you know, there's nothing to work on, then there's nothing to work on. If you think you're like, oh, I don't do, I don't ever do anything wrong. Oh, then maybe you do nothing wrong and there's nothing to ever, you know, fix because whatever. And people get mis, like the word fix gets misunderstood because if you use the word fix, people think that they're broken. You're not broken. You just forget who said this uh joe dispensa or someone else something about how like we are we have all these programs within us and you just might be running certain programs that no longer serve you or programs that are just fucking you up in, in you know, just the whole thing so if you learned what programs did you gain that are fucking you up and then learning how to remove those programs and add new programs that's what I mean. It's not that it needs to be fixed. It's that you're running certain programs, a.k.a. you have certain ideas within your mind that are not helping you at all. And they're just fucking shit up for you. So if you change those ideas, you begin to change the reality. But if you never face yourself, like, like I don't know how to explain it, but like, this whole thing came to mind because um, me and my mom, my daughter, like, we was all just talking, right? And anytime, like, me and my mom will, like, maybe start talking about something real that, like, my daughter doesn't want to hear, she'll, like, try to change the subject or, like, maybe she'll just kind of leave the conversation for a little bit until the topic of the conversation changes. But it had me thinking about how people do this as grown ass adults, like a child doing this. It's like, yeah, whatever. It's kind of normal. You know, a child doesn't want to hear that it's their fault. Like if a child gets in trouble and, you know, they don't want to hear that it's their fault. You know, it's it's the parents fault. It's the this, it's the that instead of just saying you knew that you knew that was a rule, but you broke the rule. So now you're in trouble. And it's all about you just facing that and not breaking that rule and understanding these certain things and certain things about respect and certain things about this and that. But like, kids don't want to hear that shit. But until a kid does want to hear that shit, they'll never grow. You'll never get better until you face the fact of what you're doing wrong, of what you're thinking wrong. If you're thinking thoughts that are just making your life worse, maybe it's time to change your thoughts change your mind it's okay to change your mind it's okay to be wrong see that's another thing a lot of people don't like to be wrong like i love to be wrong the reason i love being wrong is because i don't want to be right i just want to grow that's it and because my goal is growth therefore i'm able to look at myself a lot deeper than most people look at themselves Right, like able to look at myself, look at the way I think. Why do I think this way? Why do I act this way? Why do like all these different things? And I'm like, oh, well, if that's why, well, I don't need to continuously act that way. Like, you can change. And because you can change, it's just change requires you to look at yourself. And it requires you to be like, well, this is what. I am right now. Maybe you're overweight. Maybe you're mentally depressed. Maybe you're broke. Maybe you're this or that. But like, you'll never be able to get in, to fix something if you don't begin to look at that something. Like, you could be like, oh, my parents raised me this way, so that's why I'm this way. Like, oh, that's fine. 
But do you want it to be that way? And if you don't, then you're going to have to face the fact that you are like your parents. Right? You know, like those people that work, they, they're like, oh, I don't want to be anything like my parents. They end up being just like their parents because they're so focused on who they don't want to be instead of focusing on who they do want to be. Right? Like instead of learning to control the mind to be like, okay, well, if you don't want to be your parents, you need to stop paying attention to them because it's not about what you want and don't want. It's about, well, you start to mimic the things you pay attention to. If you're looking for a red car, you'll see more red cars. So like, it's like people don't want to be like their parents, but they don't even have an idea of who they do want to be like. Like people want growth, but they don't want to face the fact that what they're doing every day, if they do that for the next five, 10 years, they will have no growth. So like, you might need to change what you're doing today. Like change what you're doing next week. Change what you're watching today. Change the routines you have. Because I've seen this other thing that they talk about day one or one day. Meaning, either you're going to start today and it's going to be day one of you trying to better yourself or better your life or change yourself or to get in shape, to heal your mental health. To, there's all these things that you could be trying to go for, but either you're going to do it, either you're going to go for it and it's going to be day one, or you're going to sit there and see all these things that you want to do, but you're going to look back and do the same thing you've always done. But you're going to say, oh, one day, one day I'm going to start working out. One day I'm going to start working on my mind. One day I'm going to. But if you're doing the same shit you did yesterday, talking about one day you want to do this other thing, you're never going to do that other thing because you need to start it today. A day one type thing. But it's all based off of how much truth can you handle about yourself? Can you handle that maybe you're not as nice of a person as you think you are? Maybe you're not as spiritual as you think you are. Maybe you're not as successful as you think you are. People think they're successful just because they have millions of dollars. But like, maybe you're not as close to your family as you think you are. Maybe you're not as close to your children as you think you are. Maybe there's just so many maybes and possibilities of what people are in today, but they don't want to face it, so they're stuck in it. But if you face it, if you face the fact that maybe you have not been the best parent, you know, for your child, okay, like... This is my thing. People get so caught up on wanting to be a good parent that like they feel butt hurt or like it's like a punch to the soul if like their kid tries to correct them on something or saying something about them and it's like, "Well, I've been a great parent to you the whole time. I've done this and that for you." And it's like, "No, bro, you're not listening." Like because you were so focused on trying to be a good parent, you missed the chance to be a great parent. The parent, like, the ones that it's like, okay, if your children's trying to tell you something, listen. And, like, if you're not a good parent, if you fucked up, that's amazing. Because if you can admit that, you can begin the journey to be a great parent today. Like, today. Like, if you only admitted what you're doing wrong, you can begin to fix it today. But it's just a matter of facing that shit. Facing whatever our shit is. And... Facing it, accepting it, and understand that we don't have to stay in it. We can change it. We can change. You could change your life routine today. Like, bro, do you understand how much growth and change I go through? The only reason I'm able to grow the way I do is because I'm able to change and let go of who I think I am. It, like, people just have to stop being so attached to shit. They're attached to who they are or who they've always been they're attached to doing what they've always done they're attached to thinking what they've always thought they're attached to eating what they always eat they're attached to doing what they always do but it's like you can change all of that 
all of it. And if you change it, you'll start getting different results in your life. But it's that insanity shit that people are doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. They're expecting to change, to grow, to get stronger, to get better, to get wiser, to get all these things. But they're doing the same shit they've always done. And that shit, and it, let me ask you a question. That same shit that you've always done, has it brought you the results that you're looking for? If not, then don't expect it to bring you different results. Nothing will ever change unless you change it. Nothing ever... Like, it's all going to be exactly what it is today, forever, if you don't start making changes. But if you don't learn how to face yourself and accept it and stop getting so attached to the feelings. Because it doesn't feel good to see, oh, maybe I'm not the best parent I thought I was. Maybe I'm not as spiritual as I thought I was. Maybe I'm not as good of a person as I thought I was. Maybe I'm not as mentally like put together as I thought I was. That's okay. People get so butthurt with facing the fact that maybe they're not as good as they thought they were. Who gives a fuck if you're not good? Who gives a fuck if you're a bad person, a good person? Who gives a fuck if you're a bad parent or a good parent? Who gives a fuck, bro? Stop being attached to those shit and be attached to whether you want to grow at the thing or not. Like, whatever you are right now, it fucking doesn't matter. The only reason that matters is because you need to look at where you're at right now. So if you're not as good of a parent as you thought you were, that's okay. Don't fucking be all butthurt about it. Don't get mad about it. Don't get sad about it. Look at it. Straight in the fucking, like, look at it. And then see what you're looking at. And then once you figure out what you're looking at, figure out if you want to keep looking at that thing or not. And if you don't, then start the change. And it's uncomfortable. It's all this other shit. But like. It's either change or don't change. It's either grow or don't grow. There is no other fucking option. You're either going to grow or you're not. You're either going to accept what the fucking thing is or you're not. And you're going to keep lying to yourself. Like. So. We only have these two options. Be real with ourselves. Or lie to ourselves. Grow or stay the same, there is no other option.